In today's video, we are going to use a can of Seafoam top engine cleaner to see if we can resolve an issue with a major misfire problem on this van, which is a 2007 Ford Freestar. Before you start the procedure, you want to take your vehicle for a drive, get it up to operating temperature, and then what we're going to do is spray into the throttle body. So over here on this vehicle is our air cleaner. And if, if you, there's a screw here, which I have already loosened off, and if you remove this, we will see throttle in there that's a butterfly type valve you can see if I see that actually if I this is where the auxiliator cable connects to so see that moving there that's where we're going to be spraying the sea foam the instructions tell us to put the spray tube the end of the spray tube a quarter of an inch away from the throttle plate so i'd say roughly there and it so my fingers are placed roughly around what should give me that distance so i'm going to take this nozzle our spray tube here and push it into this hook like so and this should keep the tube roughly where we want it Okay, I've adjusted my uh, tube. There's our throttle plate. Hopefully you can see that coming out there. I would say that's about roughly where I want it. Now I'm gonna slip our intake. Move it over that. Keep that approximately in place. Oh. Okay, I'm looking here. You can't see it, but I can see that's staying in place there and now we'll attach our can now we want to have the vehicle in park and the parking brake applied we'll start the engine and keep the revs at about 2000 rpm at which point I will start spraying the can and then I'm going to move this camera to the back of the vehicle so we can see if there's anything uh, coming out of the exhaust. What you want to do is have somebody to spray the can while the vehicle is running and kept at around 2000 RPMs. Now, due to the fact that I don't have one of my sons handy, I have, we can see it's going around 2000. I've used this highly effective technique I developed with my seat against the exhilarator. Uh, don't do that. Now I'm going to watch the exhaust and I'll fast forward through all this. I don't know if we're going to see anything dramatic here or not, but apparently it takes about seven minutes to empty the bottle uh, and I'll, uh, as I say, I'll fast forward through it.
I've secured the intake boot back onto the throttle body, tightened up that screw there, removed our nozzle. Our can is empty, and now we'll have to let this, as they say in the instructions, hot soak for 10 minutes, and then take it for a test drive. I wasn't able to do the test drive after the soak last night. Something came up, so it's the following day. And I have to say, I am blown away by the difference in the performance of this vehicle. What, uh, I'm gonna give you a quick backstory here. What originally happened was I was getting a misfire so bad, I was checking my codes and it was always throwing a cylinder one misfire and it became so bad that I had to stop driving the van. It would stall out and, uh, if I pulled away from stop signs and stuff like that, it was getting dangerous. Anyway, I replaced the spark plugs, I replaced the uh, plug wires and I was still had, it was a bit better, but still had a problem. I changed the coil, I'll put links to all these videos down below. The coil fixed the real major issue. However, I would still get a code for random misfires. The misfire on one was gone. Obviously the coil had broken down and cylinder one was the main issue. At any rate, I think what happened was there was so much uh, corruption built up in the engine because even after I fixed the problem, I was getting the random misfire and poor performance. Long story short, uh, I've been driving about 20 miles. My check engine light has not come on. That would usually come on about four or five miles away from home. And I gotta say, I'm amazed with the uh, with the sea foam. I was never a, a fan of these additives, but uh, I gotta say, on this old van, it made some difference. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for 